Transportation is all around us, disguised in different mediums, such as land, sea, and air. Technology, like transportation, is hidden in the same way. My group members, Ali, Shelby, Sager, and I, have chosen to explore how technology has changed the transportation industry. From the cars on land to the planes in the air, technology has played a major role in the development of better forms of transportation. In the past 30 years, cars have transformed tremendously. Cars have gone from solely being used for transportation to being used as a hobby or to showcase one's wealth. Cars have changed many aspects, in many aspects such as body structure, safety, technology, and much more. The body structure of cars have gone from heavy materials to more lightweight materials such as advanced grades of steel, the most dominant material used in car production. Some safety aspects today are seatbelts, airbags, head injury protection, anti-lock track system, traction control, and much more. Before 1901, cars did not have brakes. Also, cars did not have seatbelts until 1956. Today's cars contain more computer chips and lines of software code than the first vehicles launched into space. Technology is very useful in our vehicles today. Some common forms of technology in cars are GPS, various radio systems, and rear-mounted radar. Car radio was not invented until 1929 and had to be bought separately from the car. Since the first car was invented in 1885, there have been numerous changes and advances Similarly to automobiles, obviously, air travel has come a long way since the Wright brothers flew the first plane a hundred years ago. Since then, we've seen advancements such as increases in speed and range, with decreases in noise level and cost, just to name a few. For example, whenever you're on a plane and you look out on the wings and you see the little tiny wings moving up and down, do you wonder what those are for? Those winglets have only been around since the 70s. It was found that they greatly reduced drag, which results in a dramatic increase in fuel efficiency. Engine design is the primary factor in airplane design. Engine design has changed from turbojet to turbofan to a high bypass turbofan, all the while increasing features such as efficiency and safety. New engine programs such as the low cost, lightweight, 700 pound thrust Williams turbofan have begun to have a major impact on airframe design. These improvements in engine design have sparked a whole new generation of easy to fly jets to eventually completely replace propeller aircrafts. Another huge advance has been in the pilot system of controls. It used to take gigantic amounts of training to begin to understand the complex socio-technical system that is the cockpit controls. However, now with improvements in data storage and visualization, the system has become simpler and safer. Pilots now have things such as synthetic vision, thermal imagery, and moving maps to aid their capabilities. Similarly, with developments such as weather and terrain notifications, the ride has become more comfortable for the passengers. You'll see similar improvements in water transportation, working towards an easier, safer, and cheaper trip for the passenger. During the 18th century, water transportation changed forever with the invention of the first steam boats and later diesel power ships. These were developed during the Industrial Revolution, which made boats independent from an unpredictable weather. SS Great Britain was the first ocean liner made of iron and driven by a propeller. When launched in 1843, Great Britain was by far the largest vessel afloat. The, advance, the advances in navigation, such as the gyroscopic compass, the, the radar, and GPS, made water travel much safer. Eventually, submarines were developed during the 20th century in an attempt to combat new advances in detection, such as radar. A trip across the Atlantic would take six months 200 years ago. Nowadays, ships are capable of making the same journey in a mere three weeks while carrying many times the amount of cargo. Ultimately, the advances in technology are all around us and have changed almost every aspect of how we live our lives. The developments in each type of transportation, land, air, and water, have put society on a fast-paced track, always looking for new ways to change and improve. 
Today my group and I have only touched the surface of technology's impact on transportation, and the information will always continue to change.